What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another so official me, D. Yang. If you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button, that will be great. Hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. If not, then thumbs down, I guess. Anyways, today we're talking about how to rig your ice reel onto your ice rod. I had a couple questions. D. Yang, how do you rig your ice reel onto your ice rod? There are many ways out there to rig your ice reels on your ice rod. Yeah, tongue twister. But yes, there are many ways to rig your ice reel on your ice rod. And I want to show you guys the proper way, the way that how I do it. This is just what I prefer. This is just my opinion. Like I said, there's many ways out there, but let's get started. So as you guys all know, ice fishing has already started. And I just want to give you guys some tips on how to rig your reel onto your rod properly. Now I'm not, again, I'm not a professional at this. I've just been doing my research. I've been uh, talking to a lot of guys who've been ice fishing for a long time and I found out that this way right here works the best for me and it might work for you too. So I want to share it with you guys. Yes, I am aware. Yes, I know the fact of what happens when you put electrical tape onto your cork handle, okay? It's a strong tape right here for electrical wire and it can pull this material right off. I'm aware of that. That is why we do this properly and this is how we're gonna do it, okay? First off, let me cut this off first and I'll get back to you guys. Now, as I'm peeling this tape off, this is what I'm talking about right here, okay? That's what I'm talking about. It peels off the cork, okay? Which I don't mind, it's just small material, but some people don't like it. Again, check that out, it peels it right off. And I'm okay with this. I want to show you guys the proper way of doing this. That's why I'm redoing this for the sake of my viewers because you guys are awesome. Let's say you get your first rod, okay? So you get it in the mail, get it out the store. It's just pure cork. Cleaner. Nice. This rod is real light. By the way, if you're wondering, this is the Syncroy Custom Ice Rod. This is 28 inch. Medium light, extra fast. My panfish rod. Love it. Super light. Feels like a Harry Potter wand. Pew. First, you will need your rod, your ice reel, duct tape, I mean, not duct tape, electrical tape. Get at any hardware store, Walmart, Target, uh, Menards, wherever you wanna go, flea farm, and some sharp scissors. That's all you need, okay? Nothing fancy. Now, people, a lot of people make the mistake of putting the reel onto their cork and their rod right there and then. So if you put the reel on there with, uh, with uh, electrical tape, it's gonna cause this to smush onto the foam and it's gonna make your cork look really bad. Take the tape and we're just gonna peel maybe just three inch. Three inch or four inch, okay? Not accurate, but three or four inch. Just like that, just that much. If you guys are wondering, you can cut more. Really sharp scissors needed so you could get a nice flush cut. So this is about just three inch, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from the back. What I like to do, I like to measure from the first eye here to the, if you have a hook holder, that'd be awesome. But you want it to align this beginning tape with that part right there. So let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit. So I'm gonna go right here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's probably a really bad view, but just do your best. It's gonna go all the way around anyways. But I start from the left right, right from the edge of the cork handle. Right there, as you guys can see it. That's where I start, right there. And it'll make sense later, just be patient with me. I'll slowly pull, I'll slowly pull and apply pressure. And make sure your hands are clean too, you know, dirty hands. Make sure it flushes right behind your cork, okay? You see that? See how I got it flush nice and clean. So there you go, it's nice and round. It starts on the back, right? I flushed it to the edge here. Let's see if I can show you guys. So it's nice and flush. So, just like that. It's really cool. Yeah. Me, I prefer my reel to be at the end of the cork here. It just feels more comfortable and more balanced. Some people like it way up here. I, I feel like that's just not ideal. I keep mine right there where it flushes at the end of the cork, the split grip right here, okay? And I'll just measure according to where this guy starts. Right here. If you want, you can put a little pen dot right there or just Use a nail and just, you know, just go like, just go like that. So you know where it starts. And then I can go ahead and do the same thing. Cut out three inches of electrical tape. Again, just that much. Again, just measure from the hook holder right here. Do your best, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
Same thing, just apply pressure and go around nice and slow. Okay, just make sure it's even, make sure it's flushed. It takes practice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so just like that. Right, so this is how you put the reel on it. What I like to do, I like to tuck the rod under my armpit. I like to measure according to the end here, okay? And make sure you're parallel with the bait holder, hook holder, bait holder, whatever you guys want to call it. I tuck it in right here. I like to put my reel right on the butt right there so it's flushed. You guys can see that. Maybe. Let me see if I can focus it. There we go. Yeah, now it's focusing. So that's all I like to do. It's flush. And tuck it in, put the weight, gravity pushes against the cork here. Make sure it's flushed. Get your measurement first. In rocket science is real simple. Just get like four or five inches, whatever you guys want to call it. Just that much. Use a sharp scissor. Again, armpit. Now because we have the first layer of tape, it protects the cork, right? From any source of deformity or damage or pressure, anything like that. If you guys want to, you can put two layers. You don't have to, I just put one. Cause I'm not like squeezing this thing super tight, but anyways, this is what it looks like. And you guys can see it. So I get a focus right there, okay. Just like that, hold it real tight. I put it on the reel first. Make sure it's flush. Boom, just like that. I pull and I lay it down. Step by step, I'll do it nice and slow because you want your reel to be even, or else you're going to be real some funky looking reel on your cork. Just like that. I don't want to block anything, I just go right over. I just pull and I tighten it up. Yep, if it's uneven, just, you know, adjust it. That's what's nice about having the first layer, because then you can adjust and pull as tight as you want, right? Just like so. Boom. Nice and even. Simple. Okay, now it's nice and flush, you see that? It's not back here poking you, you can hold it nice and comfortable. Like that, pistol grip it, just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do this part next. Now that I know that's protected, I can go ahead and, let me see, let me just get a focus right here. Okay, there it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut tape, same thing, flush it. The first layer is protecting the seat from damaging the cork. I'm just gonna lay that nice and flat, cut four to five inches or so. Again, support it. Use your gravity. Yep, just layer it right on there. Pull, and just adjust according to how you want to tape. Just tape following the first layer. That's what's nice about having the first layer. You can adjust to it. You can pull as tight as you want. I'm not going to pull any of the material off of the cork itself. Right? Just like so. There we go. So nice and flush. Get that focus going there. You guys see that? So that's the first layer. I'm going to go ahead and do a second layer to it. Just for, you know, security or comfort purpose. I'll show you guys in a bit. It's the second layer. Same thing. Just apply. And this time you can start anywhere you want. I'm just going to start from the reel because I like to pull onto the reel. I like to just tighten it up. Just like so. Just flush it nice and clean. Just like that. If you're not picky, you don't got to do all this extra flushing stuff. I, I do, just to make it look nice. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. It's nice and flush. Get it from a different angle. So 
So the second layer, it's good. Okay, sweet. Same thing with the top wheel handle. I just go like so. Like I said with the first layer, you can go ahead and pull as tight as you desire. All right, I think we are good. And that is how you properly put on electrical tape on your ice reel to your cork handle. That way it is protected. It doesn't deform the cork handle. Like I said, if you want the first layer, you can put two layers, then put the reel, then the two tape layers, or you can just put one reel and then two on the outside and hold it nice and comfortable and I can fish and jig all day long. So if you want to test it out and make sure your reel is secure, just take it, take your line, hold the butt section of the handle here and just pull. Right, set your drag, okay? And just pull. If you don't hear or you don't feel the reel moving while you're pulling the tension pretty hard, then that means you did a good job securing your reel onto your cork handle. So that's how you do it. Ta-da! So again, there are many other ways. A lot of you guys like to use the rubber ring. Uh, I don't know. Past couple experiences, they'll either slip or they just don't feel good. Just that really, really big layer of ring there and you're holding it kind of, yeah, it's kind of annoying to me in my opinion. You can buy the custom rods, right? Bass King custom ice rods and they build these screw-on uh, which way is it? This way. These screw on real seats. Super light material. I think it's carbon fiber. It looks like it. Carbon fiber wrap. Um, yeah, it sits right on there. All right, I got the Pissafun ICX on here. You can just push it back, just tighten it. So, this is another option too if you don't want to do the whole tape thingy, uh, whichever way it works for you. So, it's nice and comfortable. So, if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button, if you guys found this video informative, I hope so. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave some comments down below. If you have any other ways, show me. I'm willing to learn. I know there are many ways out there. There's special rubber bands, there's uh, rubber rings, uh, special tape. There's all this sorts of stuff, but this is just the affordable way that I've been using. And electrical tape works great. So with that being said, I'll see you guys out on the ice. Try out this tip, and I promise you guys, it works great. This is DJ. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.